action. John Moran has the whole sports world talking because he's running around with that thing on him. Yes, he is. He's in videos and he's screaming with his friends, hitting the rap music, and he's doing a little dance, waving his little thing in the air. Pause. He's waving his little thing in the air. The first time I saw John Morant, I thought that he was like the first openly LGBTQ plus gangster in the whole entire NBA. I was like, I seen the long hair with the cur with the uh, colors and stuff in there. I said, this boy as sweet as a little Debbie cake. He sure is. And I wanted to clap for him because he could jump real high and dunk real high. I said, boy, that's sweet, boy. <laughs> he could really fly through the sky, man. He got glitter in his shoes. <laughs> I got rainbows behind me. And all of a sudden, he wants to wave around that tool in his videos. And so the commissioner suspends him. And everybody in the media is talking about this man was supposed to be suspended. And I said, hold on a minute. I wanted to investigate. I wanted to see what laws he broke. He ain't break now. He ain't break a single law. And so, you know, some of the commentators, they said, Adam Silver called him to the commissioner's office and he said, if you do that again, and I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. I love freedom. I think every red-blooded American man is supposed to love freedom, but we got this idea in our minds that if our boss tells us that we can't do it, we can't do it. In my off time, I can't jam to my favorite song and wave my favorite tool in the air because of perception. And I don't know when he signed up to come and be some role model. Remember when Charles Barkley said he ain't no role model? And now John Morant, he's supposed to be a role model at 23 years old. And so I got a solution for John Morant. You see, as a young black man that has millions of dollars, you cannot be so openly expressive with your gestures. And so all you got to do is say, hey, say I'm John Morant and I'm hey for play. And all of a sudden they're going to let you carry that tool. They're going to put you on the cover of Sports Illustrated in a bikini and a holster with both your pistols. And they call you the Glizzy King. <laughs> Memphis Grizzly. King, the Memphis Grizzlies Glizzy King. That's going to be the most bestest conversation in the whole history of the world because I know right now in America, the most important thing to Americans is your wrist bent. How much sugar you got in your tank? And if you got a whole bunch of sugar in your tank, they're going to put a whole bunch of money in your bank. Boy, you make a whole bunch of money saying you go chase after some of that booty. <laughs> I am a booty bandit. And all of a sudden, boy, you're going to be the richest uh, NBA player in the whole history of the world. I think Bud Light might even give you an endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> or Adidas might give you an endorsement. Can we have a conversation about Adidas? Adidas is so crazy. Adidas is wild as hell, right? Adidas went from yay to hey. <laughs> <laughs> I used to look at like swimsuits and I wanted to see beautiful women wearing skimpy swimsuits and all of a sudden the conversation has shifted from skimpy swimsuits and women to putting uh what is not a woman. I don't even know what to say. I can't even talk appropriately because you'll get mad at me because I don't know what to say appropriately. But there was a person who was wearing a swimsuit and it had no A cups. He had minus A cups, but he had a big old glizzy. Boy, I say, holy Christ, that boy got a, a, a sock in his drawers. <laughs> he got a sock in his drawers. He got a ball in his drawers. He got two of them in his drawers. <laughs> and I couldn't stop laughing. I said, how in the world did Adidas go from having like one of the most bestest creators in the whole entire world to having zero imagination? And the only thing they could come up with is to put some black uh, person on the thing with a big old thing. I was like, I was just so confused. A protest? The protest that I have is that I shall not join the booty banded organization. I really love women. Women are the most exciting thing on the whole entire planet. But even women are making, they're making the experience of being a man less enjoyable. I was at the, uh, at the grocery store with my lady and she was uh, we was having a great time. We just laughing and shopping and everything. But every aisle I went down, I seen a coochie. <laughs> you believe that? Like, I was watching an explicit movie, and I saw real coochie right down the aisle. I said, there's a cat, there's a cat everywhere, a cat, cat, yes? I thought I should put on a Jimmy hat just to walk through the stores. Like, I was gonna just trip and fall into some sweet Gina. And I wanted, like, I looked at my woman, and I had this honest conversation with her, and I was like, hey, how come women won't put no clothes on? Why are they walking around here with all their stuff out? I can tell her she got fat labials, skinny labials. You can see the whole thing. She shaved this morning, she didn't shave this morning. Look like a prickly pear and I'm just like I as a man I want to use my imagination I want to think about what it might look like when you take your clothes off I want to know if your body is soft girl I could see your cellulite and for the ones who put have on the uh what's that thing called 
it's like a bodysuit. They put the bodysuit on and then they put the tights on top of the bodysuit, like right around their knees. Like you see just a big old bulge of just fat because you don't push all the fat down to your knees. Hands on your knees, hands on your knees. Every woman on the internet is shaking her, uh, her booty and showing me her coochie. And I'm just like, this is all for free. I, I was born in the 80s, raised in the 90s, and so like around 16, I had a beard. And so I'd go into the convenience store. I had to pay these people like 12, 13, 14, 15 dollars just to get a little nudie magazine, just to see a little piece of coochie. Now, all I gotta do is go shopping. <laughs> I have to put on spandex so that I'll be walking around the store with a chub. <laughs> Please, ladies. Put some clothes on. Let's have an honest conversation about having relationships because having relations will save this nation. We done given our whole life up to this, this LGBTQ ideology and we ain't having no babies. And I think that's driving the, the American society crazy. It's driving the American man crazy. Everything we do right now is based on having a corporate uh, organization tell us, yes, it's okay. And no, it's not okay. But I believe in absolute freedom. In order to have absolute freedom, we need men to defend freedom. And when we talk about John Morant, every American man should boycott the NBA because they said that he can't make videos and pack that pistol. We need to let corporations know that they don't govern our lives. For every organization that puts a person in front of the camera that is not what they... They're the opposite of what they're supposed to be. I don't even know how to have language about this. It's men pretending to be women. It's women pretending to be men. And I'm like, hey, everybody just be themselves. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.